Mild weather continues as we move into the next couple of days. We'll be in the mid 30s, maybe upper 30s and even potentially low 40s for some of us. Small chance of precipitation, though most of the area looking dry this week. Unfortunately, not so great for those snow lovers as we will have some melting taking place and little sunshine this week as well. It's just something to keep in mind. High temperatures across the area, mid 20s in the Northwoods, low 30s across central Wisconsin, about mid 30s here for the southern part of the state. Overall, very comfortable for this time of year. As we take a look at how that's going to change, well, it's really only going to get milder over the next few days. Wausau's expected high temperature, 33 on Tuesday, 35 Wednesday, 36 on Thursday, and even close to 40 here on Friday. That does mean we'll likely see some melting snow. And even with our warmer temperatures, they will still be below freezing, which means we'll likely see some refreeze as well. Make sure you're keeping an eye out for any ice development here over the next couple of days. Still rather mild conditions overnight with that extended cloud cover. You can notice most overnight temperatures also above the average high temperature this time of year. Our cold is 26, which is late tonight into tomorrow morning would be breaking or be higher than the average high temperature this time of year in the mid 20s. Our satellite radar picture here is showing cloud cover across the state of Wisconsin. That's going to continue for quite some time. Part of the reason is a weather system here down to our south, and you can see it's mostly rain at this time, but it is trending towards Wisconsin, at least on this western edge. That will potentially clip into the southeastern corner of the state tomorrow. And for that reason, we do have snow potential here on the map showing a dusting or a glaze of ice here across central and southern Wisconsin, though, as we mentioned, a lot of the area looks to remain dry. Down to the southeast, we're looking at maybe one to two inches. Stevens Point or uh, Wisconsin Dells and further south may be seeing some light flurries and flakes around Stevens Point down to around Adams. Now we take a look at our future track forecast and you'll notice just how far south this system is trending. As we move into Tuesday morning, you can see the southern part of the state seeing some activity, maybe reaching up into Juneau and Adams County, but you'll notice it really doesn't have much of an effect here on the News 9 viewing area. You'll notice cloudy skies continue, but in terms of precipitation, just doesn't quite break north enough to really impact most of us. So as we mentioned, still could have some blow off moisture, which could potentially bring in some frozen drizzle. Our extended future track shows another small chance of precipitation. This is on Thursday morning, maybe a few spots of freezing rain, which we're keeping our eye on there Thursday afternoon as well, but should be clearing out mainly for the weekend. So overall, pretty dry here across the state. Tonight down to 26, cloudy and quiet, east winds at 5 miles per hour. Our forecast tomorrow, 33, east winds around 10. Seven-day forecast moving forward, 35 Wednesday. We do have some 40% chances of precipitation Wednesday into Thursday, but overall mainly cloudy skies. Into the weekend, a bit more sunshine starting to appear, but still very comfortable temperatures.